Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Minecraft server with Cone Dodger and Brian for Project. Get this, get this. Are you ready? Are you ready? Bredogier. Mm -hmm. Bredogier. Bredogier. It's gonna be like Bre. Bre. Bredogier. Bredogier. This is purely because nobody came up with any good ideas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Never ask the internet for opinions on anything, really. Nope. So hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you? How's your voice? It's okay. I I, I actually survived pretty well. My name is not Jaysano. I did not drink from a wig. Mm -hmm. Or through a wig. So bad. Where? <laughs> I'm just flying around in the air. Oh. So those old river bats. Very common. River bats. <laughs> oh boy. So, the, so you're alive, you're home, you're well. Yep, yeah, that was quite a, a whirlwind of a weekend, as people say. Mm -hmm. I suppose we should say for people that have no idea what I'm talking about. Uh, it was the Mindcrack Marathon. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, I'm a terrible person. Because I didn't successfully tell you about it. Wait, but I think most everybody knew. Yes, uh, Minecraft Marathon was a 48-hour charity marathon benefiting Extra Life for Kids. You can actually still go donate to it. You sure just can. won't get any of the rewards that you would have gotten if we did it live. I think you could technically still get on the server. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You could get on the server, yeah. Mm -hmm. Technically. Uh, it's, it's just, it's up, still up. I just looked earlier. Also, also, hey, hey, how about this? Yep. You can, through that, visit this server. Oh, you can technically. Yeah, you could come Only here. Only technically. You could come visit the Kona abode and the guano wheat farm thing that very much so did not get done before the marathon. Nope. <laughs> that was one of the things I had hoped would happen, but it did not. You had mu way much to more, more, do more. You had a lot of faith in that. What I really, th uh, after the fact, we're just going to dive straight into this now. <laughs> What should have happened is during those nighttime hours when we were desperate for stuff. Why? Mm -hmm. Why? 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 I'm collecting. Why? I'm I'm harvesting. This is a farm. This is a vine farm. But I don't need any. <laughs> what should have happened during those nighttime hours is we should have just had people go on to the Minecraft server and work on that. Oh, that's a good point. Two or three hours of that would have been done. Would have been done, and we could have had you know the grand celebration of that during the marathon. Too late now, but mm -hmm. it couldn't have happened. That's what I thought was going to happen, but we stuck to a schedule that's pretty you know similar to um, our norm. Yeah, we stuck to the schedule on one hundred percent, no deviation. Well, I mean, we stuck to the amount of stuff we usually do. Hey, let's go to your place and get some sand. Or do you have the sand uh, on you? I might have the sand. Let's go back to the boat house. To the boat um, where we're building. Oh. Do we need, like, furnaces and stuff? We have to go there. We have to go over there. We have to go over there. Okay. There's a reason. Are you oh. still using the new texture pack? Mm-hmm. You can just ride that one off, you know. Well, now no, you can't. Not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> Are you going to automate these things? No. Oh, oh what? How dare! House, I can't see it. Can't see it from me. My house. Wait, what? How dare you, man? Whoa, that made me snap forward. <laughs> this is PUBG. Yeah, no, new uh, the new drama character, very PUBG. Anyway, anyway, getting distracted. What I mean is, it was very similar amount and thematically content to the past few marathons. Yep. We didn't really skimp out on anything, despite the situation, <laughs> which I was yeah, I mean, impressed by. Even even post marathon, I was talking to Mike today, and he said something like, "Oh, you know, kind of downscale." I'm like, "No, we didn't. We really didn't. No, we really didn't. I mean, yeah, we could we had a couple less cameras and a few less people, but I don't think I don't think that showed. No, uh, I would disagree on one thing." The cameras showed very much so one person rather than the group, much of the time. 
Yeah, we didn't have camera operators a lot of times. It was yeah. set up the cameras for the shot. Oh god. And then, oh um, god. Oh god. Why? Why are you stuck in the boat? Because I was stuck in the boat. Because Minecraft. Really got there? I didn't realize that wasn't connected. Three. Anyway. So I have something to show you. Okay. Okay. It's not this game. Okay. Because you were definitely looking at the game. I was. I was. I was. Okay, hop over here. What? Dis over here. You remember how you said uh, Discord was doing that thing and you were like, do I sound like that? Mm -hmm. You're you're still sounding like that. And maybe you do always sound like that and I just never realized. Okay. Like, it clips some words and you robot in between words and stuff. Oh. It's kind of weird. 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 Anyway, continue. Let's see, we... Over here in this block here. Oh. Across from me. Oh, Hello. hi, door. You, uh... Please enter. Please enter my door. You've been doing some work, haven't you? Uh, by some work, I spent probably less than an hour. Less than an hour. Oh, my. <laughs> this is... Uh, this is quite a bit, actually. Is there... This is our... This is our oh, house. my. Is there sand in there? There's okay. sand. There's not a lot of glass. No, we can make we can make sand in the glass. I've learned that recipe. Did you? Did you? Uh, mm -hmm. Did you make I that unsliced? I, I have more sand in here too. Hey. Yeah, I have more shulker box full of sand. Okay. Well. Well then. I suppose. Did you enjoy your time? You don't have a chest plate on. You know that. I don't know why. I don't know why it. Maybe it broke. Your pants are very high. I think it probably broke. You don't have a chest plate on either. And your logo have... clearly looks like a phallic object when you have pants on but no chest piece. Does it? Yeah. Oh, it does. <laughs> wow. You notice that my skin in Minecraft is the general outfit I was wearing for most of the marathon, too? Um, yeah, that's the general outfit you wear during life. Well, <laughs> oh. But I could have chosen any other color of flannel, but I made sure to choose the blue one so that it matched. Yours is more of a pale blue, though. This is this is like. Why do you have to ruin everything? Yes, I had a great time at the marathon. Having a good time. Uh, that did not come up at a single time, which is impressive. What it did, it came up. Did it? Yep. On okay. camera. I didn't do anything else. I promise. Mm -hmm. I have one objection to this path. Okay. I would like to go one or two blocks higher than what we designated the highest spot to be. Okay. And I think that was this one, maybe. And the reason being is, I suppose this is a very short stretch, and then it gets high, low again. Because you... I don't want the tube to sit on the ground. I want it to be kind of like monorail-y. I'm good with that. And like it would make the, the tube kind of poke out of the leaves on the top some, because I do want that. Mm -hmm. So in some areas it would, yeah. Huh? I said it would in some areas, yeah. Oh, I thought you said it would in marriage, yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah. In, in marriage. <laughs> Dear Colonel Dodger. <laughs> Will you marry me? No. Here is um here's, here's a torch. And my uh, my un my undying flame love. I don't So let's say which block did you say? Was this one right? It, yeah, it's this one because we have some of them that are the same like here. Okay. So this is the lowest this is the highest point before, which would be the lowest point of the tube later. Uh, let's say that one. Wow, the server just skipped hardcore when I placed that torch. Wow. Uh, yeah, that'd be a good one. So this would be the block of glass then. So okay, no, 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 no. Why have you done this? Now, now second point of contention. Uh huh. Uh, see, grew tree. Um, what if we made the the side walls glass, of course, so we can see through them as we're driving. I made the top and the bottom slap. So that way it's very sleek and svelte. I'm sorry, it's what? Sleek and svelte. I'm sorry, what? Svelte. <laughs> I hear the word, but I don't know that it is a word. That's a word. I'm looking up. Google it. I like the bottom. Mm, yeah, I like the bottom being a slab. I don't know how I feel about the top, though. Like Then you won't be able to see the sky. I feel like the top is going to be thick because with two C's. Because the... 
a full block is full block. We can do some prototypes. Let's, let's, do, let's we'll do a do prototype. prototype. I'm, I'm not even going to sign off on it yet because maybe I don't like it. Okay, let's we'll build the prototype out. before we start yep. clearing out because we need to know how much to clear out. No, mm -hmm. we don't because it's going to be the same height of cleared out space either way. You can't clear out half a block of space. Yes. Yes. We need to know if it needs to be four blocks high, five blocks high, six blocks high. Well, it's going to be... It's going to be six no matter what because you let's have a bottom a prototype all right let's make a prototype this is yeah, how we bottom, don't talk yeah, the about bottom's gonna be a, you're right you're right the, the slab will still occupy a block space, a block space yeah. uh just do that. so you have some slabolas and goodies that's some strange goodies you have here oh yeah we do have some stones here. beautiful where did this come from or what kind of you have a cat here. Oh, I found a dungeon. Oh. <laughs> well, I was trying to go get logs for this without destroying the area by us, so I dripped, walked off a little bit. Okay. That sounded like something. So you have fun. some glass? Slabs. I have some glass and some slabs. It's kind of a hard area to work in, to prototype in. You what? It's a hard area to work in. Yeah, we'll just find like an open tree hole. Ooh. Was this the highest one? Highest one? No, this one is um, uh, this. Yeah. Okay, so let's just say we, if maybe we only want one. No, we wanted two, right? We should do it like right here, though, where there's open sky. Here's sky. Uh, so this would be the bottom. Yes. And then we'd for sure have like at least two. It'd definitely be two wide. Ooh, black. Oh, black. No, 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 no. It's gonna be three wide. You thinking black now? Because we were thinking blue. I just, I just got black. Ones. Oh, okay. Three wide. Well, yeah, you gotta have. Um, it's one and a half per lane. It sh the shares lane with the middle one. Oh, right, right, right. Because we're gonna do a pain, a pain down the middle. <laughs> and then oh, probably at least three tall. I was thinking Maybe. two. Why would you ever need to stand in it? Yeah, right. It might just look a little squat. I'd be happy with it looking squat. So I'm gonna collect leaves so that way if we need to replace leaves, we can. Oh, that's smart. You're so smart. You know these chickens are pretty annoying. But I won't. I won't. Took my stuff. Do, do you have more slabs? <laughs> okay, it's too high. So too high is fine. Oh, I see. And, and then three. I think that's good. I just kind of want to be up at that level and see what we see from there. If this is indeed the highest point. How do I get up there? <laughs> I'm just going to keep walking in circles. You took my leaves. Because I wanted to get up here. Um, I mean, we'll be going through the canopy quite a bit. But this is the highest point. So if it gets lower from here, we should pop out the top of the canopy at some point. right? Mm -hmm. hey, I like it. I dig it. Let's do it. So... It's at Y77. So from mm -hmm. 77, sorry, from 76. So, so this isn't going to be final pillar design, but imagine every so often we'll have these pillars. Right. Okay, so wait. This is hard to think yeah. about. You know what, though? What, though? Now you're thinking glass bottom, too. Hmm, what? Yeah, I think glass tube, and then you see the slabs? Mm -hmm. Every so often make a a support rung. So get rid of the, the glass on the sides here and use slabs to close it in. Uh, or whatever material. Or whatever, yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's, preferably something with a stair, too. That's going to be the way to go. But for today, let's just worry about clearing out the path, I think. Now that we know what Y levels it's going to be. Something similar. Not this one. Corners don't connect, Cone. You're going to be okay with that? 
What do you mean the cornerstone's next? You could put another slab right here. That's cool. One. Yep. Beautiful. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Right, we could make a butt, butt ton of slabs too and literally just. Oh no, we're doing glass. We could make a butt. Ton. Ton of butt. So what are the Y levels? What 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 Y? What Y? What Y do what, we need to clear out? What and Y? So if it's at 77, that would mean 76, 77, 78, all right, all right, and 79. Right. Can you make a path to get up to there? Do we have... What am I doing? All right, here's what we're going to need. Here's what we're going to need. We're going to need enough glass to help us, like, pillar along so that we can mm -hmm. keep clearing. In preferably the color we're going to choose. And then just start clearing out those blocks. Yep. And a way yep. to get up to here. Glass. And we'll ch ch chat about what the stuff while we're making glass. Mm -hmm. So blue or, or black? Um, so blue requires lapis. And I have plenty of lapis. It's just, it's a, what about a light blue? Resource that also requires lapis. Oh, I thought you had a flower or a flower farm that you were using to make blue. Oh, that flower farm's long gone. Oh. Okay, okay. So black would be easier, because ink is, is very easy to get. And I do but like the way... we could also do gray. We could do... We could do blue. I don't care. I have lapis. I don't... Here's my top three glass colors. White, black, what is this, buzz, blue. Buzzfeed? <laughs> you won't believe what number four is. There is no number four. Although even clear is really fantastic now in the new texture pack. <laughs> Hi there. Clear's too white. Clear is too white. Yeah, I just... Why I, was my I, I just had terrible flashbacks to the pack rat arcades debate. Give, give me my stone. <laughs> Burp. I have, like, two, I have like two stacks of furnaces in my. <laughs> I don't know why I made two furnaces. I mean, we only need like two stacks to get us through today. Yeah. 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 Oh, there's gold in here. There will be gold in here. You already have one stack of regular glass in here. So what did you uh, like or dislike or love about the marathon? What did I dislike, love, or like? Something like that. So the, the big thing for me, the thing that made this marathon much more enjoyable for me than the last one was just feeling comfortable. Mm -hmm. I never once felt like I needed to be introducing myself or even like proving my existence there, whereas I felt that last year. I mean, my entire life is proving myself. Yeah. And I, and I certainly do still feel that way. Like, I still, when I'm there, I'm like, do I really belong here? I don't know. A little bit of imposter syndrome. Yeah. But... I don't know. It just seemed like everybody that I interacted with, I just I just clicked with this year. And okay, apparently we're sleeping. It's very awkward when you just fall asleep in the middle of a conversation. <laughs> I'm not allowed to talk while we're sleeping. Well, you I could can't say talk hey, before we're sleeping. Hey, I'm going to bed. <laughs> you could have said that. Oh man. But no, yeah, that was that was really my favorite part of it. Was I just really felt part of it mm -hmm. instead of a guest of it? Yeah, less less of a guest. Yeah. Did you get to meet anyone a person that you haven't met yet? Well, I got to actually like sit down and talk to Ko because that never happened to the last one. Mm. Go in and go me. Either one of them, I never had any real conversations with. Um, I mean, there was new people there too. They were yep. interesting to meet. There was nobody there it's... that was just like, 
um, somebody that I was like intimidated by, to put it that way. Were you last year? Yeah. Or I guess maybe the whole different feeling last year was. What well, different feeling, but also like Anders, Doc, people like that have had no idea who I was right. and are extremely extroverted and, and strong personality people. For somebody like me, it's very intimidating to meet people like that. Your head's moving around like you're meet doing badge. That. Did meet Badge, who, like, that was the first person I met this year, and we were just, like, two old men griping about the world. It was perfect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do we know what color we're going to do? Uh, do we want to do straight blue? I think straight blue is very blue, but we can do it. I, Why not? I think I light blue would be my color. preferred. Because you have some yeah. light blue here. Oh. And it what matches the fuck? The, it matches what, the, the, what the hell? Wow, I can't believe you disrespected my perfectly PG <laughs> YouTube what? channel like this. No, um, we're above this ravine here, I forgot. Oh, drowned. And then something drowned while I walked outside. Oh, yeah, there he is. Hi. Please die. Something drowned. Yeah, a drowned. No, no, it was a zombie. Did, you know, it's a mechanic, right? Yeah, the, the zombies drown and turn into drowned. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, this color looks the most water-like. So I think the water... When you have water on top of that, it, it they flow together very okay. well. How much of that do we have? Uh, I have 17 left. Cool. Uh, there is a swamp nearish here-ish. So I don't have that flower farm flowers. anymore. Gotcha. Does uh, fortune work on those, by chance? Uh, to get more glass? To get more dye. No. One to one. Let me just see what this is. Well, it should be near this village. I think. Yep. Here it is. Yep. Um, I'm just surveying it out so that when your uh, dainty body arrives. There's a bed over here. Yeah, I saw that. Not mine. Hmm. This tree is in the ground. Is there uh, flowers? There are not, but I have bone meal. I just put up all of my bone meal. <laughs> so it's not just about me. It was a very different marathon for you as well. Uh, it was. Um, I wore many hats this year. Many hats. M many hats. Like so You've always been kind of part of it. Last year, you really stepped up the part of it in the like tech side of it wow. and the organization side. Mm -hmm. And then this year, yeah. you... Crossed over into talent side as well. Yeah, the, the first year I was there, it, I was like literally helper boy. Right. Like, and just, I would do whatever I needed, suggest so whatever I could at the time. But it was really, yeah, I was just a helper. Um, yeah, and this year I did three things. I was production for part of it. Um, switching the video, switching, uh, mixing the audio. Uh, I did other helping stuff, like stuff I did in previous years, and then I also was talent, if you can call it that. Mm -hmm. I would say also in previous years, you were at the forefront of, like, the social side. Yep. I don't think you maybe had quite as much impact there this year because you were split too many ways. Yeah. Well, and, yeah, we even talked about that. It was just I think a lot of people were split more than people thought. Oh, well, I mean, we all knew it was going to be that way. It was, it was for what we ended up doing, not, you know, really cutting back on previous efforts, massively understaffed. <laughs> yeah. So, um, what was it like? What was it like being talent? Mm-hmm. Uh, if you asked me to do it last year... Um, I would have probably been awful at it, but having another year of streaming under my belt, I thought it was fine. It was just like anything else. It's like it's not like I'm like, what do I do? I want to go live. What's what do I say? What do I, what's what's going on? No, I just I just went out there, you know, and mm -hmm. I gave it 110 percent, and I went out there and fought a good fight, and uh, I'm gonna bring that trophy home. I will say this, and I've already been like debriefing with the Discord about the event and everything. Even when you're on camera, it's very obvious that you are thinking about the technical side of things. Me? Yep. 
Uh, you define technical for me. Just uh, the run of the show, the programming, the 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 camera angles, the the way things are are laid out and said uh, and explained to the audience. You're always thinking about the show, and in that, you're very similar to Sevenus. <laughs> Why you got punched in the castle? <laughs> that, was, that was a funny response. Can you give me some of that oatmeal so I can. Mm -hmm. <laughs> One. And it's not a. That's not a, not a negative because without people like that, things get derailed and we forget that it's a show. Yep. And the audience can get lost and confused. Certain people fill in very important roles. Like, if it weren't for Chad, we would have no host. Yes. So many things would get left unsaid and unexplained. And if it weren't for think, people uh, like you or Chad... I would be, would be a, our good second best host. True. In a lot of ways. But, but she's she has a minimal role a lot of times. This year she's probably been involved more than she has in the past years. Yeah. Yeah. It, it helps that Chad has, like, the ability to be on even when he is, like, completely dead. Is this one-to-one, -one, by the way? It's it's interesting that you want. Oh, they are. It's just one one per. Yep. Uh, so we're, we're getting new flowers in 1.14. Interesting. Flowers, uh, well, we're getting dyes and flowers. Oh. So there, there will, um, there will dyes and, and flowers are different things, oh. something like that. And, oh right, there's a machine uh, that turns them. Something I don't know. Okay, but they'll actually be a cornflower blue. What is this cow doing? Hey, you have to. Punch it down to that I was doing a bigger because it's very loud. See, I'm always thinking about the production. Mm -hmm. So you're a lot like Severus. Um, I think I'm. I almost side sometimes more to the Chad side, where I'm very concerned about making sure things are explained and that the audience is is recognized and and known to need information. Like I always want to make sure that people are clued in, filled in on what's going on. Mm -hmm. And some people are just there doing their thing. And sometimes don't explain exactly what's going on. Yep. I see that. I see that. Uh, what? What if? Uh, what if I said that? Because when we talked, I don't know if you're over there, the group at the bar uh, on Sunday. When we talked, we said we have to do a better job of staffing, um, or or explaining what positions people are supposed to be in. So we had two, three colors on the. Um, the runner show mm -hmm. we had we had red when you were off duty we had green when you were on duty and we had blue when you were the announcer or region donos and stuff and we also needed staff helper like incentive helper we need um maybe announcer is different than donation person mm -hmm. um or we just call it segment host maybe is the a good term for that yeah now i will and say to that you can't just divvy those out because not everybody is a host. Oh no 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 yeah no it would be it would be from a group of people. It's just like we do for incentives. Not everybody's gonna eat bugs, so we don't right. put everybody's name down. So we ask people, hey, who wants to host? And then some some of them like just the donation station. You know, you might get stuck on there, but like host, like segment host would be different than donation station. Oops. Or do things differently. Oh no, I'm trapped here forever. We should go back because it's getting dark. And I have a stack and a half, or stack and a quarter. A stack and so we, we got plenty. Yeah, I could see that being beneficial. But I think we all knew that it was going to have to be kind of the way it was this year. Mm -hmm. uh, I could also see some major improvements on the tech side of that too. I feel like our. Our ability to stay up on top of those things is significantly um, diminished compared to things like Zeldathon. Like, I've seen behind the, the scenes of... What? Did I go the wrong way? <laughs> We're going um, south.
But yeah, the, on the tech side, the ability to see donations and to see incentives and goals and everything, especially this year, but even the year before when we were, you know, more prepared, it always felt kind of haphazard and disorganized. So it was harder to stay on top of things. Yeah. Well, uh, I think we determined that usually Josh and I were the helpers, plus we had other people, you know, junior helpers in the past. But this year, Josh and Josh was on, I was almost always on production. Mm -hmm. And I was split between production talent and helper. Oh, wow. Look at you, Mr. Speedy Wings. Mr. Speedy Wings. But, you know, we'll talk about that. In the morning. That's trademarked, sir. You're going to jail. And I'm here, Ness. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to jail. Uh, okay. How much we got? This was not loaded. This chunk was not loaded, so we didn't. Yeah, there's uh... plenty. I got at least a stack here. Oh, no. Oh, it goes the other way, right? You go. Oh, this is plenty of die then. I forgot that it's not one to one with the glass. Sorry about that. Uh, just to get us out there. As a straight run, no, no width. It'll be fine. Boop, boop. So why don't we? Why don't we? I, so I know you said you just do. We'll just do a bed of glass all the way, and then we'll maybe count it out, see how many it is, so we can divide it nice and even. Yeah, we'll do the supports afterwards. I think. Yeah, yeah, we'll come back back in and soak up the glass we don't need. Yeah. Yep. I have two stacks. You have one. I have a stack and a half. Should would be like plenty. The, would you like to do the marathon next year? Um. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I wanted to do it next year, the first year. What do you? What, what do you want to do? What do you personally want to do differently next year? I want to have segments that I actually host and segments that are actually like important. I felt like my segments this year were, oh shit, it's the middle of the night, we better have something here, kind of segments. Yeah. Like, I never get to do any, any donation incentives or anything, and it's all just kind of thrown together. Which I understand why. It's the, it's the smaller community, and it's the content that's maybe not as in. Oh no. How'd you do that? Oh no, creeper, 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 creeper. That's not uh you don't. That's, that's not bad at creeper. <laughs> you don't want that to be your thing from now on. Yeah, that would It certainly became the thing. Like I my the tale of my UHC experience of the marathon was explosions. Oh, I don't have shears. You have extra shears? Oh, I didn't bring shears. So oh, you're going to do a full bit. I was only thinking of doing like... Well, let's do that. We can start with one. We're going to go opposite direction. Yeah. I'm going to go make some uh, shears uh, though, if you got iron over there. Yeah, there should be iron there. I don't know what it means to sound like salty about it. In any way. It's just that I want to be... I want to pull my weight. That's basically what it is. Mm -hmm. I think my only segment that was mine was Twitch Sings. Yeah. I brought it to the table. I got in touch with the product manager over there and said we need access. I think really helped with that to some extent. I hosted it. I sang in it. You were it. What was it? No, I mean, yeah, you and Aurelian both did, you know, very good with that and... Uh, I think you you fit the role that I described earlier where you structured it. You made sure it kept going. You made sure it kept moving. And you made sure that the audience had interaction with it. Mm -hmm. It wasn't just people singing. What, what, what do you want to do? What, do you have any ideas? I mean, yeah. I mean, I would I would much prefer, you know, like the Rexfest segment to be an actual segment rather than just... Um, or... Or who knows, maybe even like something like the automation BMNG stuff that I do. I can easily 
have that be more interactive and part of the group and that stuff that's actually you know pretty pretty popular pretty well viewed maybe not with that audience but it would also show that audience that stuff as well people that may never have seen that stuff before so it'd be cool how would you monetize that how would you monetize it uh just think of the like customization that you can do with that kind of stuff so you could have decisions on the builds based on incentives or uh, actions done with the vehicles per incentive. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, obviously, I have, this is not something that I've thought through, but yeah, I, I can definitely see ways it could be incentivized. Or, or donate at a certain level and you can submit the car. You can submit your own car. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Just the donor to do work. People love it. People like to have their stuff be seen. It's, it's not an easy thing on Twitch to be seen or to have your stuff seen. And it's a nice way to have that interaction without having to have one-on-one -on -one interaction because we can't just invite people. Like, we can't say, pay a $1,000 and compete in UHC with us because you never know what that person is going to be like if they're mm -hmm. going to adhere to which, you know, TOS rules and stuff. But if you can have somebody's product be shown, as in, you know, something they made, and it's in a format that's pretty much safe, then they can feel like they're having actual interaction. Right, they're involved. They're involved, yeah. Uh, yeah, there could be... Um, like, we played Recta, <clears throat> and it could be that... Um, like we do with you, the donor server and some other stuff. I don't know why I said you. But um, we could let people buy into playing the game. Could. Just like we did with, like, PUBG in mm -hmm. previous years. Uh, I feel like our interaction, I feel like our tech side of that has always been lacking. Yep. So that's, that's something that's a, with this thing? that's a hurdle we need to, um, to the end of the woods, to I presume. the sand? Because I've just barely poked out of the forest. He's poking. Turtle heading a little bit. Donate and Cone has to drive the golf cart, or drive a golf cart. Uh, I was thinking, see, these were, these were things I was thinking about previously. Uh, the, we could have done like donate to a certain amount and Cone has to be the bus in one of those cars versus bus rounds mm -hmm. or something like that. Uh, yeah, I think we should poke out to the end of the water there. Okay. I don't have a request. Uh, I give some. We do. Glass and glass looks really weird. Did you ever notice that? No. Come look. I'm gonna walk backwards. I see that. I <laughs> thought there was something wrong with the game. <laughs> and there you go. Oh, it. Yeah, it, it like. It's like the scotch tape on frosted glass effect. Mm hmm. That's weird. I wonder why that is. And then if it goes three times, it stops. You see that? Or if you see three if you see it three times, it reverses itself again. So if it shines through you, a block, that's shining through a block, and then shining through a block, you see the glass Did you make it all the way to your end already? Yeah. Hmm. My end was shorter. Mm -hmm. I'm clearing out the sides now. I heard that about you. Wow. Wow. All right, I'll just approximately end it here, and then to shore up our pillars, we can extend or shorten it. Oi, oi, Captain. So besides the segments and, like, besides our, our, our time on camera and whatnot, what was your opinion of the location and whatnot? Um, I think... I think the Nerf Fusion Studios were good. One, 
We had some networking issues that we didn't know there were networking issues internal to the net, internet or internal mm -hmm. to the network. Um, we had lights, we had cameras. The only camera we brought was Drew's camera. Everything else was already there. So I think having, having the equipment there, I think the space was fine as far as like size goes too. It was so much more than I expected it to be. Yep. I really thought it was going to be happening in like a broom closet, basically. <laughs> Just judging by what we had heard and what we had seen. Mm -hmm. But it was not that. No, it was good. Um, you know, getting a few helping hands from uh, several teams was also nice. Mm -hmm. Extra bodies again that we didn't didn't necessarily have. The drama was doing. the power situation. Yes. That uh, is pretty ridiculous, if if I do say so myself. I guess... I don't know. I don't know how that happens, but... Oh, no, I placed a glass wrong. I come. But it was... Um, it was certainly one of those worries. Like, if the power had gone out during the marathon, we were screwed. <laughs> you see? Okay, we rest. Oh. We rest. It's right here. We rest. We're under arrest. Oh yeah, the power was the power was a scary situation. Indeed. But you, 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 okay. And we'll continue that conversation. Oh, you are the worst. <laughs> what um other than your personal goals? Um, you know, having your own segments and such. What do you think overall? Pretend we had to do this next year. I mean, we're going to do it next year. But pretend. pretend we had to do it next year in the same same exact thing. We have roughly the same amount of talent at that studio. Like, what 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 would what do you think we could have done better? What do you think we could do better next year? If not we knowing had we any extra production or anything, that much talent. And we had that kind of production situation. We should scale back what happens off hours. We wasted so much effort and so much energy off hours that could have been spent been spent during peak hours. We tried to mean? fill the nighttime hours with with you know full blown content. Mm. When if you look at it, didn't earn anything. And wore everybody out even more. Yep. Well, what would we put in that place? Because we can't just shut the stream down. Exactly the kind of stuff that I was talking about. Like, literally just being on the Minecraft server and doing a project. Like, we could have something predetermined that, off hours, this is the thing that we're going to work on. And it's going to be predetermined. It's not something you have to think about. Like, even when you have blocks of, okay, this is the, don the, the donation server hour. That's actually a high effort production, in my opinion, because you have to then come up with a theme or a build or a project or something. You have to do something. You can't just yep. be there. I think Ant did a good job of, um, well, I, the whole team was kind of doing some, some, uh, donor server stuff, but like Ant and his, you know, cannon that he was building. Yeah, that was. That was during pre-stream rule, but still, that could have it been was. an off-hours thing. Yeah. Really, that pre-stream segment stuff could be the the off-hours, the, the, the middle-of-the-night stuff. Which, of course, is going to mean less segments. It's going to mean that stuff like Wreckfest may not even exist. That's very possible. That's very possible. I I want to I my personal goal for this is I want every segment to have an incentive. That's a that you that's can a buy. good goal. That's a good Doesn't goal. Doesn't mean we'll always achieve that. Right. But at least we'll we'll consider that. Like how do we how do we incentivize this? Someone brought that up either last night or you know some other time. Like oh what if we did this? It's like how do we incentivize that? Right. How do we get donations for that? Because we make donations. Every you know, every hour we make donations, regardless if we have 
Oh um, yeah. Something you know, it's they come in steadily. But that we don't people don't um there's no reason it's like when you're streaming, nobody just comes by your channel and gives you bits when you're not streaming, right? Mm -hmm. They can, but they don't because there's no reason for them to. They're not gonna get recognized, they're not gonna get um any reaction if they if they do some funny funny bit you know alert. Now on that note, the usual rule is that the the incentives the personal incentives fill that gap where say during a game that doesn't have a direct incentive is on you could donate towards person eats a bug or person does this mm -hmm. for whatever reason that system was not working very well this year and i don't think the the things on it were uh creative enough that you know got people interested in them Yep. But if you look at things like Zelathon, they do that full full commitment style. Like they they are big on that stuff because they don't do a lot of craziness with their games. They don't do a lot of purely incentive based things of you know pay this and this happens in game. Theirs is more people based, and I think we were really lacking in the people based stuff this year, the talent based stuff. Do you put more glass in or sand in? I did put more in. I should, I should refill though. Refill. Yes, everything. Sorry, I'm reading Brain's chat. Now, <laughs> everything you do should be to get people to donate more. But now this is one of those takes that Brain's gonna hate because it's it's just typical me. We our job there is to be entertaining. And that entertainment is the value for the viewer that they are donating to. I hate it when companies do fundraisers and all they do is ask for your money at checkout. Because they, they put in no effort. They offered me nothing. But they want me to donate. Versus I see people like the gaming marathons or uh you know in the motorsports world they do car shows for you know raising money and things like that they're actual fundraisers and our role is that we provide an entertaining show for the funds i don't remember how i got to this segue but uh we're trying to see how to incentivize things in your i think you're trying to equate our entertainment as they're buying our entertainment. True. Yes. But uh, for that, you have to have talent engagement. And I don't know that we have a lot of talent engagement this time around. Mm -hmm. uh, also, all right, I'm going to end. We're getting close to the end of this now. <laughs> I'm going to end this with a, with a thing that was a negative because I always like to end on negatives because that's who I am. Oh, I thought you were going to say you were going to end it on positive. Nope. The thing that really bothered me this year was the constant emphasis on get off the camera. Stop being on camera. Stop being heard on camera. They constantly were pushing talent away from the camera and like away from the microphones because they wanted the, the people in the segment to be, you know, in the forefront. And that's a very TV mentality. It's a very like, uh, you know, high production <laughs> event mentality. Yep. Who did that? I don't, I don't know that. I, I mean, I heard them like try to shush people up behind the scenes when they're trying to do a segment. It was for the most part, anybody in the, like the production <laughs> segments or the hosts and things of that nature. Hmm. Well, I guess I didn't recognize that. And it just felt like there was a very small presence of the talent on camera at all times. It was very much so like two or three people were quote unquote allowed on camera at all times versus yeah. what could happen is you have, you know, anybody that's around because it's the nature of the beast. People have to be there. And if you're just hanging out around, I could still be adding comedic value to things, just hanging in the background and, and adding in snark every now and again. 
Mm. I think that has I think, I think value. we did that at the donation table, right? People would just wander up. We did it at the donation table, but that was, as you mentioned, kind of unused this year. Did I mention that? Uh, you just mentioned that we should do better at that. Yeah. Because I don't think we... We didn't have enough people to man it this year. Right. Um, I think... Like, mm, I agree and disagree. I figure. Uh, I agree that it should be there. There is a time and a place to be more kind of free form, and a time and a place to be more lax. I think when we're doing more ish, more production is segments like sliced, having people randomly wander through or grab the microphone or whatever. It feels like. But maybe not the right time. I agree. Um, I'm, I'm even kind of less talking about that, but like just people being in the background. I don't need to talk. I can I can body language my feelings towards things. Yeah, well, in that case, I agree with that statement then. Like, I don't know. It just felt like there was less emphasis on it being a group event. How dare you? I guess I didn't see that. I guess I didn't see that. I mean, there were. I mean, I even trust people too because they're it just you're trying to get the judges to talk about oh, yeah. a dish, and it's just like people in the background just going, "Oh my god, he! I can't believe he should have did this!" And then, oh my god, this mm -hmm. food is so good. They're like talking about the previous chef's dish. Like, okay, we can't. We literally can't hear the judges. Yeah. So okay, I I yeah uh, I agree disagree at some point here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And the studio setup probably had something to do with that. Because we were we were pretty much cramped in there. And there was no there was no chill space. So if you were on set but not right. on segment, there was nowhere for you to be but in the action. Uh there was a space up by the reception desk. That was also shared space with people that were streaming there, so I didn't want to be there. No, that's their problem, not your problem. No, it's my problem. What do you mean, like where Waffle was streaming and stuff? Yeah. No, I mean like up, up, way up front by the reception desk. There yeah, there were still people up there. There was people it. in there working. Who? When? What? I don't know their names. <laughs> yeah. I, didn't, I guess I didn't see it because I remember it's going up there, and you know, Mike from Extra Life was sitting up there, and a bunch of other people sitting up there. There were tables there. They were watching the show. Are we are we calling it here? Yeah. Have we have anyway, we overall we've done marathon right? in a nutshell? Well, Discord almost lets you say most of those words. Overall, marathon in a nutshell. Go. Go. Yep. Go. Go. Give me your elevator pitch of the marathon. Oh, I I um, marathon good. Marathon. Okay. Marathon. Exceeded expectations. Exceeded expectations. Do you feel that it was better than last year? No. Okay. Fair enough. Do you think we could do better next year under the same circumstances? Under the same circumstances? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Should we ever have those circumstances again? No. No, that should never happen again. <laughs> Are things being put in place to not have those circumstances? Yes. Hopefully. Hopefully that is the case. Um, yeah. I'm going, I have like a lot of other thoughts mm -hmm. that I, of course, will continue to talk about. But I, I want to just like iterate this immediately. Everybody needs to be highly appreciative of good. That man yes. put a lot on his shoulders for this. Uh, I definitely appreciate it. I also hate him for it because he he doesn't have to put it all on his shoulder. True. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that goes on in the background, but uh, yeah, a lot of it kind of got forced into his hand this yeah, year. I was happy because he's like, "Hey, man, you got 20 minutes to take a phone call?" Yes, yes, I do. I absolutely have 20 minutes. Let's put my daughter to bed, and we will talk. We will miss part of my stream. I don't care. Right. Let's talk. Yep. And we, we worked through meal plan. We worked through the sliced 
cooking list, all that stuff, or like pantry items and stuff. It's like more. I want to do more of that. Mm -hmm. Marcus wants to do more of that. Yeah. I know you probably would be involved at some point. Oh, at yeah. Some level. So yeah, I we need to get him. You know, because because some of us has you know his way of doing things, and it you know, it doesn't always drive with people. Good has his way of doing things, and it's a different way of not driving with people. <laughs> and we just have to get him to. If he's going to take a bigger role in, in organizing it next year um, from from start to finish, then we need to support him and get him out of that shell. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So every every Monday, expect Best Squad to berate <laughs> him. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, should we wrap it up here? We should wrap it up. It's been 55 minutes. Wow. Yep. Wow. Good. And it's going to go fast. Sure do. Imagine trying to do this in like 30 minutes, three times a week. Nope. Can I just say I like that floor? Me too. All right. Goodbye, everybody. See you on Friday. Bye. That's it. Bye-bye. Come on. Let me hear this professional YouTuber outro. Let's hear it. I don't have a... What? Don't forget to whack that subscribe button, like, ring that bell. Ding, 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 ding. I just unsubscribed from my own channel.